millions of years ago. Come on. Yes, I know that one. That's uh, that uh, is uh, what what is what is uh, the stuff trap microscopic fuels and and plants and and animals and. and uh, Sorry, Ellen. We were looking for something more than just an embellishment. <laughs> what I already said. Anyone else? Judy. What is petroleum, Alex? What is bituminous? What is solar thermal conversion? What is hydroelectric? What is helium? Okay, so as we come to the end of our first one, ladies and gentlemen, Judy and Lee. Ellen has her work cut out for her, and Dr. Einstein is nowhere. Well, Dr. Speaker. Is this a nightmare or what? Oh, Ellen, your first correct response. I'm in control now. I can still win. I still have a chance to. Who is it? It's me, Bill Lyon, the science guy. Hey, I'm glad you came to help me. Actually, I came to see Einstein. Wow, you're getting clobbered. Yeah, this nightmare Jeopardy version is a lot harder than the home version. Can you help me? Sure, but first we have to go back. Back stage? No, no, no. Way back, like many billion years ago. Okay, but can we stop at a mini barn or something and get some snacks? Because I have a tendency to get hungry after a couple million years. No kid, do time's a waste of Wait, it's not even over. It gets really weird from here. Now some person I don't even know reminds me there's no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography allowed in my dream. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There's no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography allowed in Ellen's drink. Back to you, Ellen. And those of you who are just walking in right now, you're late. Where have you been? I love your hair. No, not you. I mean, it's all right, but that's cute. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you're not completely lost. Here's a recap of what has been going on. I'm Ellen. Hi. I love Jeopardy. I used to not care about energy at all until I had a nightmare that I was on Jeopardy and all the categories were about energy. <laughs> Oh, don't I know, it's scary. So my neighbor, Bill Nye, stepped in to help me out, Bill Nye, the science guy. You know him? Anyway, so he comes in to help me out. That's what's going on. Got it? Good. If you don't, then that's your problem, because you're late. And you think about that next time. Why is it so dark? Because there's nothing to see. Let me get this straight. You brought me back billions of years, so you could show me nothing? Sort of, but, but out of this nothingness. Many scientists believe the universe was born. Must have been a big delivery room, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, see that single point of very hot, very dense matter? It contains all the energy of the universe. And it's about to expand at an astonishing rate. Oh, well, here. Better put these on. Hearing protectors. Because it's the Big Bang. The Piggy Bang? No, the Big Bang. The Big Bang? The Big Bang! Oh! Now, what you're about to witness took place over billions of years. Oh boy. Oh, there's the cover. Alright, universe, you clear to take off. Come on!
220 million years in the Earth's past, give or take a uh, day. Bill? Bill, I, I know I asked you to help me with this energy stuff and everything, but I was kind of hoping you'd show me a slideshow. A slideshow? I guess that would be easier, but <laughs> this is way more fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is fun. Where's the energy? Oh, it's all around you. See, these plants and animals are soaking up energy from the sun. When they die and get buried, time, pressure, and heat will cook them into the fossil fuels we rely on today. Like uh, coal, natural gas, and oil. Wait a minute, you're telling me that we're filling our gas tanks with, well, with dinosaur soup? Well, not exactly. But dinosaurs did live when fossil fuels were developing in the Earth. Dinosaurs are just cool. Let's check them out. Why don't we just skip to the air conditioning and jacuzzi period, huh? Alan, it's a chance of a lifetime. It's the chance of a hundred million lifetimes. Come on. You go ahead and make sure it's safe. I'll wait here, okay? You might as well go too. This is my nightmare. Don't need you staying with me. Maybe I'll go.
Solar electricity still isn't that cheap, but it's getting there. Okay, in the meantime, let's just pick another category. All right. Today, we're using the clean energy of moving air, wind, to generate electricity. Well, then why don't we just get a bunch of wind farmers to harvest a big old crop of wind? We're starting to, where it's windy. But remember, to power a whole city, you need a whole lot of windmill. And when the wind stops blowing, we'd be left in the dark, wouldn't we? No way, we just switch to another source of energy. Oh, great. 
just what my nightmare needs. Big old human munch and bone crunch and Ellen lunch and shark. Take her up, Captain. Rise! Rise! Where are we now? The world of atomic power. See, today we take atoms like these and split them apart to release energy. It's called fission. <laughs> of human civilization. Alex, I don't know if you knew that or not. Correct again, Alan, and amazingly enough, at the end of this double jeopardy round, you have managed to come from way behind to tie Judy for the lead. Well done. Well, I just had to figure out how to work this little cookie thing here. How could she possibly learn so much during the commercial break? She's obviously cheating. Zip it, Judy. Dr. Einstein, you have no money, sir. And that means we're going to have to say goodbye. However, we want to thank you for coming here today. And we do have some lovely party gifts for you backstage. Yes, here's a party gift for you right now, Alfred. It's a long-lasting, low-energy light bulb. Enjoy the efficiency. Boy, there goes a real bundle of energy, huh? All right, ladies. You will recall that our final Jeopardy category on today's program is the future of energy. And so if you're ready, here is the final Jeopardy answer for you. This is the one source of power that will never run out. Good luck. with you. You wrote down nothing. That's correct, Alex, because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. Oh, that's too bad. You risk everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. 
Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy clue. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You too risk everything, but you double your score to 35,600, and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Be sure to tune in tomorrow as Jeopardy Dream Sequence Week continues. So that's how I became an energy expert. Again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert-ish. Anyway, I've got to go. Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Kidding. I'm a kidder. Bye-bye now.